Hello, I hope everyone are doing fine. So today we are going to install ARC4, the PSP mod for PSP3000 model. Earlier we were using Infinity model. As you can see, this PSP3000 is in top condition. Good screen, good battery life. I have charged the battery to 100% and also UMD drive is also working perfectly fine. And I have put some you know, skin on top of the back uh, UMD lid. UMD is also working fine. So as you can see, I'm able to open the tray. Let's take and run the UMD disk as well. So let us try to install the ARC4 mod because earlier we were using Infinity. Let's see what difference does it make installing ARC4 for the Sony PSP 3000 mod. By the way, you can use the same ARC4 for multiple PSP devices, PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, E1000 as well as PSP Go. So I just turned on the PSP 3000 model. Let us validate the firmware. So either you have two options, right? Either you will be on official firmware or you might have already modded the firmware to Infinity or some other modded firmware. Any, no problem at all. Any of the firmware, you can happily install the ARC4. You need to use downgrade option to make it official firmware. If it is not official firmware already installed, then we will install the ARC4. Now I'm just validating. Uh, in my device, I already have the official firmware, uh, version 6.61. So you also need a micro SD PSP adapter available in Amazon. Uh, this will support your micro SD card as well, so that you can install all these applications, games and so on. Once you mod the PSP. Let me help you to the modding guide. Open the website PSPJunk.com. If you are not in a correct firmware or if you are using downgraded firmware, outdated firmware. You need to download the firmware 6.61 from this link. Download the firmware. Okay. Then you need to copy the firmware file. eBoot is a file. 6.61 is the version number. You need to ensure 80% battery life. You need to happily install, download this uh, particular official file in the PSP game folder, update folder. Okay. There are the links over here, 6.61 for 1000, 2000, 3000 street model, PSP Go as well. Depending on your PSP model, download it, rename the file as eboot.psp, place the file in the PSP game folder, in the update folder. So once you do that, you can install the updated firmware. Okay. And well, let's say you are in a custom firmware already with a different version. Then you need to go to website again, download Chrono Switch Downgrader so that you can replace the current custom firmware reset to official one. Anyway, you have downloaded the official firmware in the PSP game folder, update folder, right? 6.61. Now you need to download the Chrono Switch Downgrader. This will ensure you switch back to official firmware before you install ARC4. Okay. 80% battery life is thumb rule. Make sure it is connected to AC adapter as well, just to be on safe side. Download this particular file, place the file in the Chrono Switch folder under the PSP game folder. You can see the path on the website PSP game Chrono Switch eboot.pbp. So what happens is once you run the Chrono Switch, it's going to downgrade and reinstall the official firmware from the update folder. Let me show you real quick. Okay. So as you can see, it also explains the screenshot. Now we are back to our console. I click the memory stick. You can see Chrono Switch Downgrader. I am running it. It will take a while. So this will cross check your current firmware and will rectify or downgrade or make it official firmware to 6.61. As you can see, now I please press X on the D-pad. Once you click X, it was going to reboot and then it will install the 6.61 if it is not installed already. Okay. And it will remove all the current infinity patches, whatever custom patcher you are using. It will remove everything. It will make your PSP 3000 back to factory reset model with official firmware. Okay. So now I'm forwarding the video because it's going to take a while. Just ensure battery is fully charged guys. Okay. So once it is installed, now the next step would be it going to reboot. Now it is 70% installed. I'm just forwarding the video. 
just to be on safe side so once it is installed this will remove all the custom firmware like infinity or some other firmware and will it and it will bring back your official firmware okay now i just, just booted it now it is booted in the official firmware let us cross validate the version one more time before you install the arc so arc is a community homebrew firmware which is updating on a most regular basis with github so the community is pretty active okay now i'm going to system information let's validate what is the current firmware 6.61 so it is official firmware for psp 3000 now let us go ahead and go to the website and install the arc 4 so i go to psp.junk.com then click on the arc 4 custom firmware guide we'll click on that now we'll go to wiki here it explains you what the features are coming up installing plugins different features of the arc 4 and by the way it has got custom launcher also okay instead of using xmb interface you can use a custom launcher to launch the games now i go to installation for psp in this wiki website on the github so let us download the latest stable release so these releases are getting updated on a regular basis guys that's why we are removing infinity and putting arc 4 and it also gives a lot of new features i will show you all the new features coming up in the arc 4 especially overclocking is very easy balance mode better battery life lot of new features along with custom launcher wow really i really admire the psp community and it's very easy to mod so download this file arc4.zip file place it in the psp game folder with the name arc loader arc underscore loader similarly there is another folder arc underscore 01234 you need to place that in the psp save data okay so this is the revision 161 update i am downloading this arc4.zip file i will show you the folders also so once you download that you need to copy this particular folders accordingly to the psp memory stick okay so let me go to the memory stick folder i will show you so when you go to that uh, memory stick psp game here you need to copy arc loader and arc CIPL. CIPL is nothing but to make it permanent. So whatever ARC4 you are installing to make it permanent, you can go with CIPL model. So I have copied ARC loader in the PSP game folder. Similarly, I need to copy ARC underscore 1234 into the PSP save data. 01234, you can see that, right? PSP save data. You need to copy all the files, okay? So that will complete the copying of the files. You can use micro SD card adapter to copy or you can use directly micro USB, mini USB cable to the PSP also directly connected to computer. So once you copy the ARC loader and the ARC 01234 in the PSP save data and the PSP game folder. Once you do that, you should be all set. You need to restart your PSP and I'll show you how you can install and by the way this arc loader will remove the infinity patches whatever you have installed so you are good to go okay so if you don't install icipl flasher every reboot you have to use arc loader so what i suggest is once arc loader is installed install the cipl patches okay that will help you to overcome the permanent uh, homebrew so cipl i need to download this okay so this is the uh, can see a lot of releases are coming up on the CIPL also. So once you download CIPL, you are good to go. Place the CIPL also, this particular folder, as you can see here, it is telling you CIPL, ARC CIPL flasher. Okay, you need to place ARC, this particular folder in PSP game. Just now I shown you, right? CIPL. So that CIPL, ARC CIPL, you need to put in the PSP game folder then you are good to go okay once you do that we are going to restart the psp device and we will put the memory card back to the psp device and we will launch it let me show you that now we are back to the PS, psp 
system information screen version 6.61 as you can see here now we are going to install the r4 loader along with permanent installation using cipl so let's go to the game screen navigate to memory stick you can use the d-pad for navigating press the x button and now look for the icon arc loader click on that so you'll see two icons cipl flasher and arc loader click on arc loader okay and that will install the arc 4 temporarily later on we will install the cipl flasher to make it permanent okay i'm just clicking on arc loader now click on the x it's going to start launching the arc loader it is going to take some time a little longer and it will reboot sometimes it will reboot sometimes it won't reboot let's see so i just uh, clicked on the arc it's showing loading arc 4 so it's going to load all these files and then it will relaunch into the XMB interface. Please note, if you don't install CIPL at this step, if you reboot the console, ARC4 will automatically uninstall. So you need to go to memory stick again, go to CIPL flasher. So I'm now I am navigating to the memory stick. Okay. Now let's click on the option which says CIPL flasher click on that so that will make this arc loader permanent main advantage of arc loading permanent is when you reboot the PSP arc will still exist so that you can copy the PSP games as ISO file you can create a ISO file in the directory in the root directory and put your ISO legitimately you need to download the ISO files if you already have a PSP game once you have the ISO files, you can copy them in the ISO folder. So now the flashing is completed. It's going to reboot the system. We'll show you what is the system version now it shows after the reboot is done. So it's going to take a while. As you can see now, it is rebooting now. Okay. So now let's go to system information quickly. Here you can see a new screen arc for updater. Later stages, you can use ARC4 updater to install any updates whenever it releases. Now go to system, system settings. Now we'll go to system information to validate whether ARC is installed accordingly. Now let us go to system information, click on X button again. You can see 6.61 ARC4 CIPL. This means it is permanent hack. Now you can run any ISO file all PSP, ISO files, PlayStation 1 files and also you can install homebrew applications which are custom applications, right? Which are created for PSP. So now let us navigate and launch the custom firmware settings. I'll show you. Here you will see a lot of new options. USB charge always. CPU clock in game. Overclock. You want to overclock the CPU. CPU clock in XMB. Overclock. WPA2 on, auto boot launcher off, use extra memory auto, memory stick speed up always, inferno cache, LPU, skip Sony logo if you want to, skip the Sony logo whenever you launch the game, hide address, hide MAC address, turn off LED, disable UMD drive, disable analog stick. So a lot of features. By the way, once you install ARC4, you can easily connect to Wi-Fi also because it supports WPA2 now once you install ARC4. Okay. So now let us also see the other settings here you can see backlight auto adjust off on there are two options here auto off in five minutes auto sleep in 10 minutes you can modify these settings by the way and also earlier you used to get brightness only three three steps step one step two step three now after installing arc 4 you can have brightness up to four levels step one step two step three step four so there's a brightness screen brightness button just beside the PSP logo, right? So I can click on that button so that I can get my brightness settings four steps. So here you can also uh, you know, figure out some of the settings here. USB charge on, USB auto connect on. This will help you to charge your PSP device using a USB port. Now go to system information. Here you will see you are using 6.61 arc for CIPL okay 
So now let us uh, launch the XMB one more time. XMB interface. I'm just rebooting to validate whether the ARC4 is still existing. Okay, it is still existing. As you can see, custom settings are still visible. So all CPU clocking, I did overclock. WPA2 is very useful. And auto boot launcher, I will talk about it. So this has got a separate launcher also. Instead of using XMB interface, I can use auto boot launcher to start my games in a different manner. Instead of XMB interface, I will use the auto launcher. I let me show you that. Okay. And when I click on custom launcher now, I am just launching the custom launcher from the XMB interface. So it's going to load this. As you can see, the whole interface is changed now. It has got ARC4 features. All the games are listed on the left side. Top, when you press the triangle button, you will see options. Settings, plugin manager, network settings, files, and games. As you can see here, all games are loaded over here with all icons. It is different from XMB interface and it is faster also. When you reboot, I can launch into auto boot launcher every time also. Okay, that is also option is available. So let's go to settings and validate all the settings from here. So when I go to CFW settings and go to settings here, click on the X button after selecting the settings. Here I can see language, skip game boot, font style, save data, show hidden files. I can swap X and O buttons if at all X is not working. Menu animation, default menu, like what default menu you want to see, show frames per second, force update, display battery percentage. So a lot of features guys, as you can see here, that is one of the advantages of having ARC4. Similarly, if you go to CFW settings, custom firmware settings, okay, USB chart always, CPU clock in game overclock, XMB overclock, WPA2 on, auto boot launcher on, use extra memory auto, memory stick speed up. I can see a lot of settings guys. So these settings will improve your PSP performance. Can you imagine PSP in 2025 getting so many features? So let's shut down and let me reboot again. I will show you what games I am using in uh, beautiful 2025. So these are must revisit for gaming folks guys. NBA 2K, Grand Theft Auto, Batman, Iron Man 2, Crazy Taxi, North American Hits, Beats, Safari, Resistance, Sega, Classic Games, Dirt 2, as you can see, Classic, Capcom Classics 2 parts, Manhunt, Afterburner, Need for Speed full series I have guys. As you can see, Shift, Underground, Midnight Club 2 series, wow, Grand Theft, 4 parts we have Grand Theft. This is God of War 2 parts, Inferno, and Wipeout, Wipe, Pure, MotoGP, Prince of Persia. This is also a beautiful game, guys. So all these games, we have, we are, I have used as ISOs, saved in the root directory. Since you have done the hard mod, jailbreak or modding, I can run all this Asphalt, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, you know, different, different uh, games on this console. Really 2025, this console is a very lightweight console with good battery backup, as you can see. And this is, I'm using XMB interface. I will show you the custom launcher also once I uh, launch the ARC4 custom launcher, how the games are shown over there. So these are some of the games I am actively playing, Spider-Man all three series. I really like this console. Do leave a comment if you have any doubts setting up the mod, okay? Now let's launch the custom launcher. We'll see how the custom launcher, how the games are displayed. The same games, XMB. Similarly, custom launcher also shows the same games, okay? So this is a different type of launcher. If I make it auto boot on, every time whenever I restart, it's going to run the custom launcher. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Any doubts, pass on the comments. Share, subscribe, like Himalayan Chronicles. Thank you a lot.